pre-wedding is not new technology. People were experimenting with pre-wedding as far back as the 1960s. But it's really been the past 10 to 15 years where we've seen the practice get, get really adopted uh, widely in the United States. Until now, it's pretty much standard operating procedure for winter maintenance. There have been a number of studies over the years that have shown that by wetting salt, we can reduce our salt application rates by about 30%. There are several different basic mechanisms by which the wetting does this. One is that the wet salt sticks to the road better than dry salt, and there's less loss of salt by it bouncing and scattering off the road as it leaves a truck or being knocked off by traffic action. That enables us to apply less salt because less salt is getting wasted. Another way the liquid helps is that wet salt starts melting ice faster than dry salt does. The, the liquid helps to facilitate the dissolving action of the salt, and this speeds the ice melting action. And related to this, another benefit of liquids is that based, uh, depending on the liquid that we use, we can also lower the effective temperature range at which salt works, thereby also enabling us to get the, the same job done by using less chemical. And this is probably also related to the ability of the liquid to speed up the ice melting process. This is really important. It's often thought that salt has got very little ice melting power when you get down to zero degrees or below zero. Surprisingly, that's actually not the case. Even at a temperature as cold as five below zero, salt has got a lot of ice melting power. The problem is that it's locked up because the ice melting is extremely slow when you get to cold temperatures. So anything we can do to speed up the ice melting action is gonna make that salt more effective and therefore we can use less. So pre-wetting helps us to use less salt in this way.